Welcome back to another amazing face swapping tutorial. Face swapping has become a widely popular and creative trend within the Stable Diffusion community, allowing enthusiasts to generate remarkably realistic images through innovative techniques. Previously, the Roop extension held a prominent position in facilitating seamless face swaps. If you don't know about the Roop extension, you can check our website for a detailed written guide. But as the code for Roop is no longer actively maintained, Users are now seeking alternative solutions for their face swapping endeavors, although the Roop extension does still work perfectly. Prepare to encounter the freshest face swapping contender in town. The Reactor extension is making its debut. Once again, if you're looking for a detailed written guide on installing and using the Reactor face swapping extension, visit our website. As usual, you'll find the links in the description. The Reactor extension offers numerous benefits compared to Roop, including high-resolution face swaps with upscaling, efficient CPU performance, compatibility across SDXL and 1.5 models, automatic gender and age detection, no NSFW filter, uncensored, and continuous development and updates. Now let's explore the process of installing the reactor extension in Stable Diffusion. Before proceeding with the installation of the reactor extension, follow these steps if you have Roop extension currently installed. If Roop is not installed, you can skip the following steps and go directly to the Installing Reactor Extension section. However, if you have the Roop extension installed, take the following steps. Make sure to deactivate the Roop extension in the Extensions tab of the web UI by unchecking the checkbox, and then click Apply and Restart UI. Afterward, navigate to the root directory of your Stable Diffusion and locate the Models folder. Inside this folder, rename the Roop folder to Insight Face. With these slight modifications, we are now set to install the Reactor extension. To begin, I'll visit the official GitHub repository, and you can find the link in the description below. On the GitHub page, scroll down to locate the Installation section. Here, you'll discover the steps for downloading this extension on Windows. The initial step involves installing the Visual Studio Community version. You'll find a free download button. Click on it. Proceed to install Visual Studio with the default settings, as you would for any other program. If you already have it installed, you might need to update the software. This download may take some time, so take a break, relax, or perhaps even dance a little. Once the installation is complete, close the pop-up and return to the Reactor GitHub page. The next step is to copy the GitHub URL and return to your Stable Diffusion web UI. Navigate to the Extensions tab, then go to the Install from URL section. Paste the GitHub URL and click Install. After installation, go to the Installed tab and click Apply and Restart UI. Once Stable Diffusion restarts, ensure that you have the new Reactor Expansion panel when you scroll down. If you encounter any errors during the installation of the Reactor extension, we recommend checking out the official Reactor GitHub page. It includes a comprehensive troubleshooting section that explains common errors along with their solutions. After the successful installation, it's time to experiment with a face swap example using the freshly installed Reactor extension. Similar to the Roop extension, Reactor's face swapping process involves a two-step approach. First, the AI image undergoes full rendering, and then the face from the Reactor image is applied. Now let's try an example. Navigate to the Text to Image tab within Stable Diffusion. Open the Reactor Expansion panel and drop an image onto the canvas. In this tutorial, we'll use Angelina Jolie's face. Activate the extension by checking the Enable checkbox. Next, scroll to the top and create both a positive and negative prompt. In this instance, we'll aim for an elegant portrayal of Angelina Jolie. If you wish to replicate this prompt, you can find it on our website in the written tutorial. Now click the Generate button and observe the face swapping in action. Check this out. Absolute perfection. 
I'm tempted to break into another dance, but let's save that for a later time. In this example, it's crystal clear that the face is channeling Angelina Jolie. Of course, feel free to swap in any face that tickles your fancy. Yet another incredible feature of the reactor extension is its ability to upscale. With the reactor extension, you can enhance your face swapped image using the upscale feature. To do this, head to the upscale sub tab within the reactor extension. You can choose to face swap first and then upscale by enabling the checkbox, which is recommended for optimal results. Now, select your preferred upscaling method. I personally recommend the four times ultra sharp upscaler. However, any upscaling method should work just fine. Finally, scroll to the top and click Generate to produce a high quality upscaled face swapped image. There you go, an exceptionally refined high quality upscaled image. Should you find the quality not up to your standards, feel free to upscale it as many times as you wish. The Reactor extension grants you the flexibility to fine tune your image until it meets your expectations. Experiment and take your face swapping creations to new heights. Now that we've covered upscaling within the extension, let's navigate back to the main sub tab. In this section, we'll explore the intricacies of swapping multiple faces by delving into some of the extension's key components. Starting with the source image, this is the picture you place on the reactor canvas. Typically, you'd upload a photo with just one face, and the default face number is zero for that singular face. Then there's the target image, which is the generated image on the right, with the default face number also being zero. In this instance, it signifies that the source image, featuring Angelina Jolie's face, is swapped onto the target image. Now let's ponder the scenario where we drop an image onto the source image that contains two faces. Let's explore this with a practical example. For this demonstration, I've prepared a source image showcasing the faces of two actresses. Angelina Jolie graces the left side, while the equally stunning Salma Hayek appears on the right. When working with a source image containing multiple faces, the first step is to assign face numbers, proceeding from left to right. Let's assign numbers to each face, separated by commas. Angelina Jolie will be designated face number zero, and Salma Hayek will be face number one. Therefore, the sequence becomes zero comma one. When experimenting with this method, it's crucial to note that if your source image features X number of faces, your output must also have at least the same number of faces for it to function accurately. Make sure to adjust your prompt to ensure that your output meets the required minimum faces. I'll modify my prompt to include the two women standing keywords. The next step involves assigning face numbers to the target image. For example, if I'm creating an image with two women and I desire the one on the right to have Angelina Jolie's face, face number zero, and the one on the left to have Salma Hayek's face, face number one, it's essential to correctly assign these numbers like one comma zero within the target image. Now scroll to the top and press the generate button to witness the multiple face swaps in action. And there you have it, swapping multiple faces by appropriately assigning face numbers. I hope you enjoyed the video and picked up something new. And remember, don't forget to celebrate your face swapping journey with some fantastic dance moves. As you groove to the beat, Remember to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with others. Also, be sure to explore our website for more fantastic written tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.